Taking a look at the fuse panel in the Jeep Gladiator, do I have loose fuses? Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I had a comment uh, the other day from a subscriber to the channel um, kind of discussing gremlins on the Jeep Gladiator, electrical gremlins and stuff. And he mentioned to me that a lot of people have had loose fuses um, in the fuse panel on their Gladiator that they popped the hood, checked the panel, and actually discovered that several of the fuses weren't seated properly or pushed all the way down. Now you could imagine as you're driving down the road and you're hitting bumps and things are rattling around, if the fuses aren't properly seated and they're kind of bouncing around a little bit in there, you could have interruption in the electrical current and that could cause gremlins in the, uh, in the, in the Jeep. I mean, whatever you might be working or using rather. So, I thought we'd pop the hood and see if indeed I have that problem on my Gladiator. So, I'll set you guys here for a minute. Try to do this with one hand is about impossible. Let's go over here. See if I can do this one with one hand. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Got those awesome struts in there. All right, the fuse panel is right back here, and I think I need to figure out a way to set you guys up a little. Let's put you, let's put you right there. All right, let's pop the, the lid off here and just take a look and see if indeed As I figure out how to pop the lid off. Ah, there's two little push things, one on each side here. Push those in and it pulls right off. Pretty simple. Okay, let's, uh, let's move you around here. Now, all I'm gonna do, I'm not taking anything out, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna push down um, on the fuses and everything in here to make sure that uh, everything is seated properly. Um, I don't know, no good place to start. Let's just start. Again, I'm just pushing these down. Not doing anything nuts. A little bit of movement on that one. I don't know that there's really any issue with it, to be honest. I'm just pushing on everything in here. Can't hurt, right? I do feel movement. Um, I don't know if that's just the fuse actually sitting in its slot. Uh, not really a big deal so far. I haven't come across anything that I'd say is kind of half hanging out in there or anything. Although some of them, like I said, I could feel a little bit of movement. Uh, I'm not feeling any movement. That one moved just a little. Here's the little fuse puller, in case you're curious. Again, all I'm doing is just pushing that one moved a little bit. Let's go back here. Make sure I get them all. Some of these are actually held down by clamps, like right here. So, ah, that one. Now well, that one moved. Number 20 right here, fuse number 20 that is. Okay, that's it. You guys uh, could see it with me there, obviously. I put my sunglasses back on. I couldn't see under the hood with them off, or on rather. Um, that was it. Nothing I would say real uh, loose or anything. Oh, check this guy out. Got a little uh, dragonfly hanging out. I think he's just hanging out. I'm not sure. Anyway, everything looked good. There was a little bit of movement in there, but eh, is it enough to worry about? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much it takes. You know, I think if it can move around at all and uh, lose contact, Obviously, you're going to have current that's fluctuating, and that can cause problems. 
um, with whatever accessory or function it's associated with. So just a little heads up, take a look at yours. That's all it takes. I mean, you don't have to be a five-star mechanic to do that. It's really pretty simple. And just for peace of mind, if nothing else, uh, to know that yours are seated properly and you're not having any issues or gonna have any issues. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever done that and if you've ever found any that were extremely loose or not seated properly in your Jeep. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, shameless plug, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Don't forget to click that notification bell and do me a favor, on your way out, click that subscribe button real quick. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.